Hooked up. So here at Rye, we do we have a smoked sturgeon salad, um, and we've been running that as an appetizer since we opened. And the reason I love it is because people are used to seeing maybe smoked trout or smoked salmon, and sturgeon, maybe they forget or don't know how delicious sturgeon is. I think now you're going to see sturgeon more and more because it's becoming more available due to uh, the farming of caviar. Um, we're starting to farm caviar here in America, and there's farms in California and in Florida. And now I think you're going to see it in homes more and more. And it's a nice, sweet, beautiful fish. So like any round fish, what you're going to do is you're just going to follow the spine and you're going to break it down and delicately remove the flesh from the bone. And you just don't want to beat up the meat. So that's, it's really very, very simple. For a chef, it's great to cook with because it holds up to so many different cooking processes. You can braise it, you can roast it, you can smoke it. So if you are a little weary about fish, sturgeon is your best friend. What we do is after we break it down off of the bone, um, we cure it. And this gets cured for 48 hours. And this is equal parts uh, salt and brown sugar. That's light brown sugar. And you can see uh, it's going to leach out some of its moisture. And then we dry it and you can see that it's rinsed. And so we, we air dry this for um, at least 24 hours. And this, this sturgeon here is ready to smoke. This whole process takes us about four days, so why would we do it? And the answer is quite simple, because it's delicious. We do about a three to a six hour smoke. We do, we do two smokes. So we have our own mix of chips here. We use a mix of uh, cherry, alder, apple, um, and hickory. So we just put that in here. And like I said, that's gonna go for about six hours, and then, then you have smoked sturgeon. And then here's that end result of the sturgeon that we went that was we went through, and you can see that it's it, it becomes a really delicate product. You, you slice thinly, but yet it still holds up and has texture. We just want to put forth a really good product, so we're going to put a rise smoked sturgeon salad together for you. So we start with uh, the boulanger potatoes. There's a little layer you can see of some caramelized onions and thyme and so they, they pack a lot of flavor. So that goes on the bottom of the plate. So our sturgeon has already been uh, portioned out for us. Um, so we're just gonna go ahead and lay this right on top of our potatoes. Nicely. We're gonna take our creme fraiche and maybe just a little more lemon. Basically you want, you want to get a little bit of that throughout. Okay, now we're going to finish the salad, so we're going to mix our greens. Um, it's like the third step. Just a little, little bit of a handful of frisée, and then we're going to add, this bacon has is, is been warmed in the oven, so some warm bacon. So you have a lot of different temperature contrasts in this dish. You have the warm potatoes and the sturgeon, which is chilled, room temperature creme fraiche with a little caviar. So it's really going to pop in your mouth. And then we're going to add a little of the, the horseradish, horseradish uh, vinaigrette and just a pinch of fresh herbs. So we're gonna grab these here nicely. And you see how you just kind of fold those greens and you're not crushing them or beating them up or browning them. Now this is a quail egg. So this is gonna top our dish. Um, it's gonna add um, just a little of that creamy yolk is gonna add a little richness to the dish. And this is gonna lay right here on top. And I'm just gonna kind of make sure it sits, and all we have to do is finish off with a little sturgeon caviar. And we're going to go right next to the yolk. So there you are. There's the rye smoked sturgeon salad. So you've seen the sturgeon come in from when it was a whole fish, to being broken down, to being cured, and then to being rinsed, smoked, sliced, and it all ends up here for you to enjoy. You can tell the fish is well cooked, the insides are nice and golden brown. The outside, if you feel it, it has the moisture and it will have the taste. When a fish is overcooked, it dry, it gets dry all around the skin.
but this now is perfectly done that is what we look for you feel it there's the moisture in it if you feel it there's nice moisture and it should be tasty